number 11 is going to be a diagram question. So we see here, obviously it's not drawn to scale, so we can almost always ignore that because it's almost never drawn to scale in these questions. So we see that there is a center at O and there is a circumference of 144 pi. So we can use that with the two pi r to figure out that um, uh, so yeah, so we will use that later. Um, so we have the diameters P, R, and Q, S. So we know that they go directly through the center, which does tell us something. It tells us that the um, measure around each one of these, the angle is going to be 180 degrees or pi. So we also know that the arc PS is going to be twice the length so that's going to be two times the length of PQ. And uh, we can also infer, so since it's split directly down the middle, that PS is going to be equal to QR. So um, we'll start by solving this. So we know that C is going to, uh, so the circumference, which is 144 is equal to two pi R. So we're gonna solve for the radius um, so 2 pi, 2 pi, so we get radius equals 72, and from here, the next step is to, um, figure out the lengths. So, we know that, um, S is going to be equal to pi times theta, Excuse me, so that would actually be r times theta, not pi. So we're going to have r times theta, and in this case, theta is going to be pi, um, since 2 pi is the full circle, and we know that this is half of the circle, so it's going to be pi. So we have s is equal to 72 times pi. Now, um, we are going to be trying to solve for x now here, since x is going to be, or sorry, 2x, since 2x is going to be equal to sp, or ps, which is the same as qr here. So we're going to have 2x plus x is equal to 72 pi, which leaves us with 3x equals 72 pi. And we can just do 72 divided by 3. And that gives us 24 there. So we know that x is equal to... Um, x is equal to 24 pi, but that would be for um, pq, but we are looking for qr which is the equivalent of um, ps here so that would be 2x so we would just multiply that by 2 and that gives us 48 pi which is b